good evening. This is Rachel Pliny with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and I'm here on, at 5.30 on Friday, and we're here for our candlelight yoga class. So um, hopefully you guys will be hopping on soon and joining us. Um, this is an hour-long gentle flow class that I typically teach at the studio on Friday nights at 5.30. So we're here in the studio. It's a little different when it's just myself, um, but I'm imagining that you're all here on your mats and with your props and getting all set up just like we normally would. So it's been a pleasure to come into this space and just think of all of you and remember all of the good times that we've had here for our candlelight classes. Hi, Kristen. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Um, it's so nice to have you here. Um, one of the things I love about these live classes, hi, Sandy. It's a mother-daughter team. That's awesome. Um, I love that I can see your names um, pop up and see some familiar faces. And Eleanor is here. Eleanor, I have your spot saved for you right here in the front when we open back up. Joanne, same thing. Good to see you, Amy. Welcome, everybody. Um, it's so great. I really do picture you guys here when I'm teaching. It's hard to hear me. Okay, let me turn this up a tiny bit. Hold on, and we'll see. Okay, can you hear me any better? Can you hear me now? Hi, let me turn it down. That's a little funny. All right. Okay, how's now? Can you guys hear me? Anybody, anywhere, can you hear me? Hi, Helen. Hi, Shannon. All right, cool. I'm hoping you can hear okay. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Oops, I can't see my face like that. Hi, Nicole. Good. So if you can hear me, let me know and we'll get started. Yes, Liz says yes. Liz was in my YTT with me. You got Brian here, Thomas is here, thank you. Yes, okay, great. So welcome, all right, here we are. This is so good, yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm on an old mic that I use for my outdoor Zumba and um, yoga classes, usually when we're up on Mount Greylock and on Anoda Lake. Hi, Marilyn. Um, so I've been learning so much, you guys, about going online. Um, thanks, Teresa. Thank you. This has been just such a crazy experience from going from teaching uh, the way I know to teach in the studio in person with you guys, which I love so much to being here virtually and figuring out the phone and the computer and the mic and the speaker and I don't know, all the things. So thank you for your patience. Um, I'm working hard on learning and improving and working on audio, working on visuals. So keep staying tuned because we have some things planned that are going to improve the quality of our videos. So keep watching um, and we're gonna keep adding some things in, some elements to um, improve the way you can hear and the way you can see. So thanks for being here. So I got set up with some props tonight. So if you're used to coming to candlelight yoga, as you know, a lot of times we'll grab a bolster, which is this thing behind me that looks like a pillow um, and a blanket and two blocks, but I know you're in your living rooms and you might not have all those things. You don't necessarily need anything, but if you do have like a pillow nearby or a blanket nearby or anything that would resemble the shape or height of a yoga block, feel free to gather that up. Um, again, you don't necessarily need it. So if you're like, oh my God, I don't have anything. I'm just here in my living room with nothing. That's totally fine. So you don't need it, but if you have it, have it nearby and we may use it. Um, and it is good to get these props. If we're gonna be practicing at home together, you might wanna invest in some yoga blocks. That's like kind of the main thing. You could use other things instead of a yoga blanket or a bolster, but the blocks you could buy anywhere on Amazon or any place that sells yoga props. So we're gonna get going, but don't leave your houses, order online. So stay home and stay safe. So here we go, it's just a little after 5.30. My name's Rachel Plain. I'm here with Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and we're live streaming our candlelight yoga class that usually happens in the studio at 5.30. This is going to be a gentle flow class. We're gonna start on our backs today. So again, if you do have um, a blanket you can lie on or to put under your head, or if you have yoga blocks to prop yourself up with, um, feel free. Oh, good, Karen's here on time, that's great. <laughs> I'm glad you're here too. 
So we'll get started. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, I'm gonna check in again at the end. Um, I can hang out for as long as you want, so feel free to chat, send any comments, send any feedback, send any ideas. Keep letting us know what you wanna see. As of right now, I'm live streaming all of my normal classes. We have lots of other Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness teachers that are live streaming their classes. Also putting things up on YouTube um, and other classes through Zoom and Google Hangouts. So we've got lots of things happening and we keep developing and learning, like I mentioned, and have lots of new ideas in store. So if you have any requests, let us know. So without further ado, let's get to it. This is so great. We have a nice crew here today. All right, so I'm Rachel Plain, Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and this is our candlelight yoga class. Hour-long class. We'll go until 6.30, relax, enjoy, and... I'm just so glad that you're here with us. Thank you. So we're gonna start um, on our mat, lying down. So this is gonna be a little different. So a lot of times I do my centering seated. You're welcome to be seated. So if you don't have any props and you'd rather sit down, you can sit for this. If you wanna come lie down, I'm propped up here with a bolster, which is like a big pillow. So if you have a cushion or a pillow nearby, you can grab it. And I have a blanket for under my head. So if you have anything like that that resembles that, you can grab it. But again, if you don't have it, don't worry. And I have two blocks that are going to support my legs. But again, if you don't have it, don't worry. You can do this whole thing with no props. So you're gonna start on your bottom. And if you're using the props, you're just gonna kind of scooch up near your blanket or your pillow or whatever you have nearby. And you're gonna lay down. And then you're gonna use anything else that you have nearby to just mush under your head. So you're laying maybe on a bolster, maybe on a pillow, maybe on a blanket, and you maybe have something else just kind of tucked under your head. You can also do this with nothing. It could be lying flat on the mat, so don't worry if you don't have anything. For your legs, a couple options. You could step your feet about mats with distance apart, as wide as your mat, a little wider than your hips, and then let your inner thighs and knees touch. That's one option. You could also open the knees and bring the soles of your feet to touch. And then let your knees either just kind of flop open and be suspended in space, or if you have yoga blocks or a couple pillows from your couch or blankets or anything nearby, you could put your knees right on those blankets. So this is a restorative pose. We're coming into a restorative, reclined, bound angle pose. Feet together, knees apart, lying on the ground or propped up. Palms open, backs of hands to the ground, and eyes closed. Good. So we're going to come into our centering here. Oftentimes we start our centering seated, but today, tonight, we're on our backs. However you want to be lying down. And then take some time to wiggle or adjust your body to move or adjust any props that you might have gathered or things that you might be lying on to make yourself more comfortable. And then just begin to drop into the space. Drop into your body. Drop into your breath. So let yourself land here. Whatever happened before you arrived, whatever may or may not happen when you're done, see if it would be possible to just set that down for a moment, for the rest of the time that we're together. Know that it'll still be there if you want to pick it back up later. But give yourself permission to relax, to let go, to surrender, and to come into this place of peace and ease and great love and compassion for yourself, allowing that great love and compassion that you're cultivating through this practice to extend beyond yourself, sending that energy and vibration into the world around you. 
becoming more peaceful, more present, more awake, more aware, more conscious through this practice of breath and movement and mindfulness. Greeting your day, your evening with an open mind and an open heart. Let yourself rest. Without needing to do anything, and I might just cut out some and try to project my voice the best I can. So without moving your body, without doing anything, just let yourself feel your breath. Begin to feel the breath Entering the body and leaving the body. As you breathe in, feel the low belly expand, the ribs open, the heart and chest open. And as you exhale, soften the chest, relax the ribs and relax the belly. Do that again. Breathe into the lowest part of the belly, the middle part of the ribs, and the upper part of the chest. As you exhale, release the chest, relax the ribs, and relax the belly. Take another deep inhale. As you exhale, let your head roll over to the right and pause. Take a deep breath in to the left side of the neck, inhaling here. And exhaling right where you are. Good. Inhale through center. Exhale to turn your head the other way. breath in, and full breath out. Inhale your head through center, and exhale right where you are. From where you are, just let the hands slide down towards the legs, touching the outer edges of the thighs, let the inner thighs come together and wiggle the feet away. Place your hands on your low belly and take a moment to let the inner thighs and knees support each other. Notice how that feels in your lower back, how it feels just to rest on the ground, to be supported and held up. And then from where you are, come into a fetal pose on either side. So you could stay up on any props if you were using them, or you could come to lie on the ground. So you're just going to rest on the left or the right. And then from where you are, use the top arm to press you up to seated. You could have closed eyes or a soft gaze. If any of the props are in your way, you can move. Let the backs of your hands touch the knees or lap, sit up nice and tall, and just close your eyes for a moment. Imagine this long, clear channel of light from the base of your tail to the top of your head. Long, tall spine, take a deep breath in, and full breath out. On your next inhale, bring your hands together to a prayer position. Let your palms touch in Anjali Mudra. And as you exhale, bow your head to your heart. Take a moment to pause and to connect to any intention that you might want to work with this morning, this evening, rather, or whenever you're watching this, if it's after the breath. The 
next time that you breathe in with hands together, slide them all the way up to the ceiling. Lengthen the arms, lift the face, maybe open the eyes. And exhale, open the arms wide apart. Stretch through the fingers, bring the chin to your chest. And do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms high and wide, all the way above the head. Look up. Exhale, open wide. Chin to chest, fingers towards the ground. Do that again. Inhale, sweep up. And exhale, release. Good. Hold the bottom. On an inhale, right arm comes out. And exhale, up and over towards the left. You could look up and fall. As you inhale, rise up. And exhale, up and over the other way to fall. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, switch. Good. So nice and easy again. Inhale up. And exhale, switch. Just warming up the spine. Inhale to bring that arm behind you. Exhale, interlace your fingers, drop your chin, and press the fist down so you can squeeze the heart open and lift the chest. Exhale, release the gaze, release the hands, roll the shoulders. Let's unravel the legs just for a moment, as wide as your mat. And then take a couple windshield wipers, left to right. So again, if those props are in your way, just move them out of the way. And then bringing the knees over to the left, you're going to hold. And turn your head away towards the right. And just take a few breaths here. So we're moving through this gentle flow class. We flow with our breath, and then we'll find stillness in our poses. So taking time just to settle in and relax here. Good. Inhale through center. Exhale up and over the other way. Knees to one side, head the other. Good. A couple breaths. Inhale, knees through center. From here, let's um, extend the legs forward. Again, if you need to just move anything out of the way, you can move it out of the way. Taking the legs forward, bring your hands behind, and just prop yourself up and roll the ankles. So really easy, just relaxing the legs, the feet, the ankles. And then roll the ankles the other way. Keep your legs straight, flex your feet. Come high on the sitting bones and lift your arms up. If it's hard to sit up tall, bend the knees a little bit. Get up on the sit bones. Take a deep inhale. Exhale up and over the legs. You're going to hold the outer edge of the legs, the ankles, or the feet, either a long spine or just go ahead and drop over the leg. Take a few breaths here. Good. Slowly roll yourself up. Bend back into your knees so your feet find the ground. Turn your hands to um, face your hips. Press into your hands and lift the heart. So you're starting to open the chest. And just lift the head slightly so it's in line with the rest of the spine. If you want to go deeper, press into the hands and lift the hips a little bit or right up to thigh height. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release. The hips, open the knees, and bring the soles of your feet to touch. Sit up tall. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, round your back, tuck the tail, scoop the belly, chin to chest. Inhale, go forward on the sit bones, lift the belly, lift the chest, lift the throat and face. Exhale, round your back, tuck the tail, scoop the belly. One more time, each side. Inhale up, coming through cow pose. And exhale, rounding through the cat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. So long, tall spine. You're holding in bound angle or bodhikonasana. And then sitting up nice and tall, hinge forward at the hips to reach the heart forward. And you could pause here for a couple breaths. You could also go deeper, maybe bring the hands to your feet, maybe open the um, forearms down towards the calf, 
long spine or round your back. Couple. Good. Lengthen the spine. Come on up. And then come on to all fours. So you can bring your hands to your legs. Bring them back towards each other. Swing the legs around. And if you had that blanket or bolster or prop, just go ahead and move those out of the way. So you have your mat here. You can bring your hands further forward to the shoulders and start to come into hip circles. So familiar movement for many of you if you've been practicing with me at home or practicing in the studio, just nice big hip circles. And then take those nice big hip circles and move them the other way. And then bring those hip circles back. So you let the big toes touch and separate the knees. Pause here. Breathe. Holding your child's pose, arms extend, or palms together, you could bend your elbows and let your forearms come back to your head. Good. Extend the arms. Roll forward through cat. Bring the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. From here, come into your cat pose, draw the navel up and in, drop the tail, drop the head, big rounded back. Inhale, belly drop, tailbone lifts, heart shines, forward look up. Exhale, round your back to cat. Inhale, back through cat. And exhale. walk out to puppy pose. So toes are under, stretch the arms forward, hips high, arms extend, chest melt, and either forehead or chin to the ground. Full in. Bring hands back underneath shoulders. Press into hands to rock back onto the feet and come to a forward fold. So whatever that looks like. Feet hip width, little shake yes. And shake no. Hang out there, maybe fold opposite elbow, maybe find a little sway left to the right. And relax. Hands off the elbows, bend the knees, roll your body up to stand. Take your time, head's the last to lift. And then inhale, arms out and up above the head. Exhale, right through prayer and close your eyes. Come back to your breath. And come back to any intention that you might have created. What do you want to invite in to your body, to your mind, to your heart through this practice? How do you want this practice to support you? How do you want this practice to aid you in showing up for yourself, for others? How do you want to feel when you're done? Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release your arms. Take a sun breath and then grab a hold of the left wrist with the right hand. So fingers and thumb. And then up and over like you're making a little bracelet around that left wrist. Good. Inhale through center. Make a bracelet on the other wrist, up and over. Good. Inhale through center. Exhale, release the hands, bend the knees and sit into chair pose with arm shoulder height. So you're in this Uttatasana or standing squat. 
Bring the arms right above the head to frame the ears if that's comfortable. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, swing the arms alongside the body and bring the head in line with the tail. You could stay here or interlace your fingers and press the fist towards the back of the room. So it's like the head and the tail are in line, the arms are pinned towards your And full exhale. Good. One more deep breath in. And exhale, release the hands. Inhale to stand up to Dasana Mountain Pose. And exhale, swan dive over the leg. Inhale to a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, long spine from tail to head. And exhale, deep fold. As you breathe in, bend the knees and reverse swan dive. Come all the way up. Let the palms touch. Exhale, hands to prayer. Close your eyes. Take a moment to find your breath. Deep inhale. And exhale, release your arms. Take another sun breath. Inhale up. And exhale, stay standing. Open the arms. Touch the head. Walk up to the top of your mat. Step the right leg back to a high lunge. From your high lunge, you're going to find warrior one or Virabhadrasana one. Spin your back, heel down, so the back foot anchors down to the ground. So instead of being on the ball of the foot, you're on the sole of the back foot. Front foot facing forward, back foot slightly turned out. Hips square to the front of your mat. Inhale, lift the arms, coming into warrior one, Virabhadrasana one, strong legs, strong body, strong arms, open heart, gazing forward, breathing in. Good. Inhale, straighten the front knee. Exhale, open to warrior two. There's a little pivot of the feet. You want to wiggle that back foot a little wider. Get the front heel lined up with the arch of the back foot and then re-bend the front knee. Gaze forward over your front fingers. As you breathe in, reverse triangle. Straighten the legs and dance back. And exhale, release. Warrior two. Do that again. Inhale out. And exhale, release. One more time. And exhale, release. You're going to hold your warrior two or Virabhadrasana two. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, reach the arm forward that you're sliding along this table and then bend the elbow and bring the forearm to the thigh. So just a little different way to get into our side angle. So if you were here with me this morning at nine, we're taking some elements of that gentle, moderate flow and we're just moving it into a more gentle, kind of slower, relaxing pace. So turn the face up and pause. But similar elements if you practice this morning. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, big circle, reach the top arm along the long leg, down in front of the body, all the way above the ear. So we're starting to free up our arm. Relaxing the shoulder, big circle. And then just do that one more time. Big circle with the top arm. Let it come up and over, straighten the legs, dance back. And inhale, open up, warrior two. You're gonna stay there, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, come on down, one arm, the other arm, and gently pluck the back heel up and soften the back knee. Hands can be on the ground, you can grab those blocks if you have them and bow the head to the heart. A couple breaths here. Breathing into the hip flexor and the psoas of the back leg. Just gently pausing, checking in. How do you feel? Good. If the hands were on the blocks, well, either way, you'll just back the hips up and bring that front leg back and now if you're on the blocks, you might want to just move them away and come on to your belly. Make a pillow for your head, so stack the palms or the fists, and you're just going to let the forehead land. Bend the knees, toes up, and start to windshield wiper the legs so your forehead can be down. 
I'm just going to turn my head so you can hopefully hear better. But just let the legs flop left to right. Good. And then let the legs circle one way. And then let the legs circle the other way.
sit low. So you're coming into chair, it looks like this from the side. Hips are bent, knees are bent. Long line from hips to head, arms stretching forward. Good. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release the hands alongside the body, head in line with tail, and pause. If there's space, interlace your fingers and press the fists back, head in line with tail, gazing at the floor. If that's too much, arms stay alongside the body. This just gives you a little bit more stretch, a little bit more opening in the chest. Hold here, breathe here. Legs might be a little shaky, just noticing the legs. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release. Stand up tall, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. And exhale, bend the knees, dive forward. Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold, hands slide up the shins, straighten legs, straighten back, or just touch your fingertips to the mat, long spine. Exhale, melt over the legs, drop the body, bend the knees. Inhale, reverse one dive, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to prayer, close your eyes. Again, take a deep inhale. Exhale, release your arms. Take a nice big sun breath here and stay standing. And exhale, open the arms, touch your hips. Come up to the top of the mat if you're not already there. Stand more on the right foot and slide the left leg back. Front knees bent, back leg straight, shoulders above the hips. Setting up for warrior one or Virabhadrasana one, <clears throat> the back heel spins down just enough so you can bring the sole of your foot to the ground. Square your hips, so feel that left hip drive forward, feel that right hip and thigh bone pull back, shoulders above the hips. Inhale, lift the arms like Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Couple breaths, shoulders down, fingers long, gazing forward, breathing. Good. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, open up to warrior two. So you're going to wiggle the feet. You want to bring that back foot a little further back. You want to line the front heel up with the arch of the back foot and then re-bend the front knee. Back leg straight, front knee bend, look to the front, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Strong legs and open hips. Inhale, straighten the front leg and take that nice side stretch, reverse triangle, back hand to back leg, top arm lift, stretch in armpit, chest, ribs, release, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, pick it up, stretch. Exhale, release back. Warrior two. And one more time. Inhale, so flow with your breath. Pick it up. And exhale, release. You're going to hold the bottom. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, just like you were going to come into triangle, which you might have practiced with me before or somewhere else, then slide the arms forward. So peel the body pitch forward. And then bend the front elbow and place the forearm right on the thigh. And then take the top arm to frame the head. So just getting a little more space in your side angle, looking up. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, big circle. We're gonna free up that shoulder. So arm comes down and around. Head can follow. And you're gonna do that a couple times. So really feel the arm bone moving around in that shoulder socket. What is that like? And then as it comes around, let it pick you up and take that big stretch again. Inhale, lift, look up. And exhale, warrior two. Gaze over your front fingers. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, cartwheel down. One arm. The other arm. Pivot on the ball of the back foot. Drop the back knee. And bow your head to your heart. Take a couple breaths. Back out of the hips, slide the front leg back to meet the back leg, knees are down, come into that modified knee down plank, if you're on the blocks, move them away, 
going to turn my head this way, but you'll have your forehead down. Knees bend, toes up, and just windshield wiper the legs. Let them flop side to side. So nice way to just relax the low back. So relax your bottom too. Notice if you're holding any tension in your glutes. See if you can let that go. Any tension in your hips, let that go. Good, and then stir the shins around. Let's loosen up your knees. Loosen up your hips. Loosen up your low back. Let that go. And then let the shins stir the other way. And then let the legs come long. And like we did before, bring the um, big toes to touch. You kind of internally rotate the thigh bones, roll them towards each other. Big toes touch. Pause here, a couple breaths. Good. And then lengthen the legs, the ankles. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders like we did before. Press into the hands and lift the heart up into that baby cobra, and then slide with one hand forward, slide the other hand forward, come up onto your elbows. Press down into the elbows, lift the heart, gaze in front of the fingertips. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, just soften the chest, relax the head, relax your bottom, and pause. Breathe there. Inhale, press down into the pubic bone, down into the elbows, lift up to the heart, lift up to the chest, lift up to the throat with us. And exhale, melt, soften the chest, soften your bottom, soften your low back, drop your head. And one more time, drive down into the elbows, down into the pubic bone, down into the hip points, lift up to the heart and chest. And exhale, open the elbows, come all the way to belly. Bring hands back, press into hands, and shift back to child's pose, hips to heels. Or arms could come alongside the body. If you don't want to have them stretch forward, just mix it up a little bit. Pause here, a couple breaths. Good. Bring your hands back underneath the shoulders. Press into the hands, roll up to sit on the heels, and we're going to stay here. Bring the backs of your hands to your lap and close your eyes. So you're pausing. If sitting on your heels doesn't feel comfortable, you could come to cross legs. Backs of hands touch the knees or the lap, sitting on your heels or sitting in cross legs. Palms are open. And just take a moment to check back in. Feel your breath, to become aware of your body. As you breathe in, imagining you could breathe in vitality and life force energy. Breathing in all the good, the joy, the love, the peace, the support, the strength, Exhaling to release anything that's limiting you or holding you back. Letting go of any tension, letting go of any anxiety or stress or anything that you don't need. I'm going to imagine that again. Breathe in vitality, strength, health, courage. Inhale the arms up. If 
it's hard to sit up tall, bend the right knee, just like you did when we had both legs straight. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, up and over the legs. So you could bring the hands to the ground or the ankle or the foot. Lengthen the spine. Good. Hold here or bow over the legs. Three.
get down, take a nice big stretch. Send the legs forward, send the arms behind, stretch the belly, stretch the toes, the fingers, the waist, the armpits. And then give yourself a nice hug. So bring the knees up, hold the knees to shins, or wrap the arms around the legs, and take a rock. Bring your hands to your knees and circle the knees. Just massaging your back into the earth. And circle the knees the other way. Good. And then place your feet on the ground. Knees up to the ceiling. So options, if you don't have anything nearby, you can come into a regular bridge. You can just lift the hips and maybe don't go 100%. Maybe just go 50% and hang out in this bridge pose. If you have something nearby and you want this to be a more supportive pose, you could grab your pillow or your blanket or your block or your bolster, whatever you have, and just kind of tuck that underneath the low back and then let the low back land. So anything that's going to elevate the hips. Again, you don't have to use it, so if you have it, great. If you don't, that's great too. Close your eyes. Take a couple breaths. Just resting. Gently rising and falling without any control on your part. 
upper legs relaxed and lower legs relaxed. Tops of feet and soles of feet. Crown of your head and tips of your toes. Let your whole body soften and receive. Welcome to stay as long as you'd like here. When you are ready to eventually transition out, just bring your awareness back. Let your breath soften or deepen, rather. Let the breath deepen. Feel the breath. Extending all the way to the outer edges and corners of your body. Breathing more deeply, more intentionally. Notice how your body feels right now and maybe invite movement back in to this, those outer edges. Wiggling fingers or toes, moving in any way that would feel good. And then come on to either side. Bring your knees in and bring your elbows in, resting in wheel pose. Gently and mindfully press yourself back up to seated. Eyes could be closed or a soft, relaxed gaze. Sit up top. Find your breath again. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. The next time that you breathe in, bring your hands together to touch in a prayer position or Anjali Mudra. And as you exhale, bow your head to your heart, honoring yourself, honoring any and we'll end together on the sound of Aum, the sound of community. So even though we're miles apart in our own homes, in our own locations today, using the sound of Aum to help connect all of us together, finding this unity, this collective consciousness, this call to We'll begin with a letting go breath. Take a deep inhale. Exhale a sigh. Good. And we'll begin with deep breath. And as your head bows back to yourself, Taking one last moment to honor the divinity and the light that shine within you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm so grateful for all of you, and um, it just really warms my heart to know that you're still practicing. So I uh, really appreciate you guys following along. Thank you for uh, being patient as we learn how to bring this content to you virtually. Um, and again, I just, I don't even have the words to say to you right now, but it means so, so much to me. So this is a hard time for all of us, myself included, um, and having some normalcy. Thank you, Kelly. Having some normalcy of being here and showing up for you guys and, um, knowing that this community of amazing people are practicing together from our homes, it just means so much to me. And I want you to know that I'm really thinking of you and I really miss you guys very, very much. And I can't wait 
um, to be back together. So until then, um, please keep taking good care of yourselves. And I wish I could hug you through the phone. Um, and I can't wait to see you next time. So keep coming, keep practicing. Please reach out to me if you have any comments or feedback or suggestions or ideas. Um, and we'll just keep doing it. We're going to keep doing it, okay? We're going to keep staying strong. We're going to keep staying healthy. We're going to keep taking care of ourselves and each other. And until next time, I'll see you Monday morning at 9 for our Gentle Flow class. Have a fabulous weekend. Um, I can't wait to connect again soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah. See you soon.